Hey everybody, welcome to the Frankie Slauson Show. It's another beautiful day here, it's a wintry day here, but uh, hopefully soon the snow will finally melt. Hey, what's up, I hope you've, uh, first of all, I just want to say I hope you've uh, been enjoying the interviews that I, the last, uh, well, the last uh, in, couple interviews that I've uh, aired here since uh, the last video that I made uh, with Eddie Deason. Hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, Fred uh, Ottman interview. Well, his real name is uh, Typhoon, or his real name is Fred Ottman, but his wrestling name was Typhoon, Tugboat, and the Shockmaster. <clears throat> it was quite fun to, to talk to him and, and uh, learn about his story and, and talk about John Tenta a little bit, a.k.a. Earthquake, the late, great John Tenta. And, uh, you know, just to kind of to kind of learn a little bit about what, what to, uh, you know, what we're kind of trying to expect anyway when it comes to uh, videos and stuff like that. So, yeah. So this is a backwards here. Let's see. <laughs> It's kind of funny. I, I see what I'm recording, but of course, I do it like this, and it's everything's back to. Well, let's see. <laughs> I better just put it back where it's supposed to. So it doesn't ruin anything. Anyway, anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson, and uh, today I want to show you guys because I said I was going to make another, uh, you know, try to make some videos here and there in between these interviews and, and in the. Starting April 8th to May 8th, I'm going to be doing a 30 days of, of daily vlogs. Uh, just because I haven't filmed that much this season because of the interviews. I might have a couple of interviews to air during the vlogs. But, uh, yeah, we'll make it work anyway. I'm going to try to do what I can to make it as interesting and as entertaining as I can. By that time, it, you know, we'll be on my journey to move to Grand Forks. And even if I'm still here, it'll still be a lot more fun because... We're going to be going to a monster truck event, you know, coming up pretty soon in, in the month of April. We're going to be uh, also, like I said, going to Grand Forks. And, you know, I'm going to be going by myself this time around. And going around and trying to find some jobs and stuff. And but maybe give you guys a little tour of Grand Forks. Kind of what, what, I, what I don't normally show and stuff like that. Uh, it'll be a fun experience. It'll be fun. Uh, it'll be starting after WrestleMania. Just doing a 30 days of vlogs. And, uh... I know it can be done because we got fast internet now, and and uh, it, it'll be easier to, to to whip up a video here and there. And maybe I might do some HD videos too, just to take one some one takes or whatever, and you know whatever. But I wanted to show you because <clears throat> right before we did the interview, or right before I did the interview, or actually after I did the interview with Eddie Deason, but before I aired it, I asked Eddie if he could send me an autographed picture. And he did. And I was pretty happy about that. It said, to my friend Sean, all the best and best wishes, Eddie Deason. Yeah, he, he sent it February 21st, 2013. That was, it was quite an honor because uh, most time, you know, I, I know on his website, or EddieDeason.com anyway, if you want an autograph picture, most time you have to pay for it, you know. But uh, he sent it to me just as a way to kind of promote the interview and it was fun. I mean, I was very, I was very honored. I mean, he's a very nice guy. And this must be, he must have been a Boy Scout in one of these, uh, I don't remember which movie this was taken from, unless it's just one of these uh, headshots where you, uh, just, uh, take a pic of yourself and just dress up as your kind of act. I'm not too sure how that goes, but, but it was still nice of him anyway. You know, very honored that he would do that. Very, very honored. Uh, let's see. On Facebook right now, doing some Facebook stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, one thing I did want to show, because <clears throat> while I'm making this video, <clears throat> I'm also uploading my <clears throat> latest Facebook video called "The Die Hard Five Review," because <clears throat> this is being filmed on February 28th, the last day of February. 2013, but, uh, the, the, yesterday I went over to, uh, Thief River, and, uh, Thief River Falls, Minnesota, and went to the Falls Cinema and watched Die Hard 5, and if you want to see my little review on that, just go to my Facebook page and find my videos, and you can check out the review. I didn't put it on YouTube because I figured, well, I, I put, I put some videos on Facebook here and there, now and again, people are well aware of that, that I do that here and there, but, uh, <clears throat> anyway... 
I also not only want to show you the picture that I got from Eddie Deason, I want to show you, uh, basically, I got some audio equipment. Now, you might be kind of amazed, and, and, or maybe you think it will be more or less as even a, more or less a, I don't know, not jerk, but more or less a, a nerd, more or less even, even farther, because, you know, I... I I try not to buy as many DVDs anymore unless it's something of, of value or something that I really, really like, you know, rather than just buying something just to buy it. Most of the time I don't, I have other ways of viewing things if I want to view new releases and stuff like that. But what I did here recently was on Amazon.com, I went and got myself, if you guys have ever heard of a thing called Turtle Beach, it's an electronic place where you can uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, get, you know, like headsets and stuff like that and everything else. Well, what I went and got was the Air Force DSS, which is by Turtle Beach. It's actually something that's supposed to make it. Well, I don't have Dolby Digital on my on my PC or my laptop, you know, but on my DVD player, if I were to hook this up to the uh, the digital output here, which is I think yeah, right here, I believe, uh, hook hook that up to the USB. And, or hook it up through the, the optical uh, uh, output. Oh, let's see. Wish I had better focus. But if I hook this up to the, uh, to the uh, uh, optical uh, output uh, out of my Blu-ray player, I'd be able to listen to uh, watch a movie in 7.1 Dolby Digital Surround to my headphones. Isn't that amazing? And I got Sony headphones that I put up for now. But... Uh, or else I give you guys a little sample of what it sounds like. But it's it, I, I I tell you what I definitely recommend it because it has a many different settings. You know you can you can listen you know in Dolby Digital or Dolby Bypass Dolby Digital to seven point one. Uh, I don't know you can't really see it's all blurry, but and then there's a Dolby Pro Logic two setting that they have. I'd rather I like keeping it on the Bi Dolby Bypass because it sounds like I was watching a movie out, out here the other day. On the computer, and it sounded very, really, really cool. Like it's almost like you were there. It's like who needs a surround sound system? Although I'm glad I got one, but you know. And then I had to get like a, an extra hook backup for it, like a Micro Two uh, audio port for it because uh, that's the only way it would work. So yeah, it was a little, a little spendy, but but I, you know, it sounds great. And, and when I watch a movie or listen to music on Spotify or whatever, I. You know, it definitely sounds good. And this is my surround sound system that I have. Uh, that I actually... Funny story about this surround sound system. It's a 2.1 system, okay? So it's not five speakers. But it's two big speakers that are almost compared to, like, the Bose system that you see on TV. That's, like, five or 600 bucks. It comes with a big old five to 600... Probably even 700 watt... Uh, I think it's a 500 watt, though, uh, that subwoofer. At first, when I first hooked this up last summer, when I got it from a rubber sale from a friend who was selling it because the blue uh, the DVD player didn't work, you know how much I paid for this? Ten dollars, okay? Ten dollars for a five hundred watt, two point one surround sound system, and it really does sound excellent. When I watch Monday Night Raw, you know, so I got it hooked up to my TV, or if I watch a movie, or a Blu-ray movie, or whatever, a DVD, it sounds perfect. Or if I listen to music, it's just like. Wow. Now, I know in this type of room, the audio, or like the, it's probably not set the way it's supposed to, like the way I have the speakers kind of set. It's just because there's not much room in here, you know, to absorb sound, you know. But, it still sounds good, though. I, I, I'm pretty impressed, you know. I'm hearing things that I couldn't really hear on my Logitech system that I thought I could, but I couldn't. Uh, the one thing I hate about the Logitech system was that all the same sounds were coming from the same, from all, all five speakers. Other than just regular sounds and stuff. What I like about this one is it actually sounds like it's supposed to. You see big speakers, and they're not just light speakers. They're pretty heavy. They probably weigh about at least 15 pounds a piece compared to a little incy uh TD speaker or whatever that you would normally get with a, sur a surround sound. So I like it. I really, really do. It's a Philips Soundwave or Soundwave uh, system. And, uh... Yeah, the DVD player doesn't work on it, but the, the the audio does, and I just use it for the audio. That's all I need it for. Ten dollars, a hell of a steal, anyway. Anyway, so that's all I want to show for right now, just to make a video because I said I was going to do that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys keep enjoying the, my interviews that I do, and uh, there'll be more fun videos coming up pretty soon. And 
hey, you know, we're just getting started. We're just getting warmed up. Even when the season uh, is almost over, especially when summertime comes, if I'm especially if I move to Grand Forks or vice versa or go on vacation or whatever I decide to do, whatever happens anyway, because I don't know yet. Uh, I have an idea, but it's like, you know, I know what I want to do, but it's, it's it's convincing everything everybody else, you know, the powers that be that wherever job I apply at that to hire me so I can get the hell out of here. Anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you next time for another great Frankie Slauson Show video. Bye-bye.